So I've learned a bunch of stuff about myself in the past 12 months. Stuff about how I feel, how I feel about myself, and also how I want to present myself to the world aesthetically. What quality might a person have that would make them sit around thinking, I wish I were a lesbian, could it be that you're gayer than you think you are? Maybe it's that. So I've decided to be more intentional about the clothes that I own and the clothes that I wear, uh, partly relating to that journey, partly relating to the fact that, like, I have a clutter problem. I have a lot of clothes that I don't wear. I have been decluttering. I have been realizing that if you get rid of items, you can acquire more items. Another thing that you need to know about me is that I was a teenager on YouTube. And I, man, YouTube loves an unboxing video. YouTube loves a haul. Teenagers on YouTube love those things or loved those things circa 2010. All of this is to say I bought some stuff on ThreadUp and now I'm gonna try it on. So ThreadUp, him, is an online like thrift store, secondhand store, and they do not sponsor me. And low key, I don't think they should because that sounds like a fast way to acquire an unmanageable number of items. And I have a hoarding problem. But also, I am gay and want to look snazzy. So I purchased the things that are in this box. Now let's see if I like them. How's that for a preamble? Is that enough? Will that let me into the box? Have I, have I been granted access to the box now? Yes! Oh, I couldn't remember what that was. Okay. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> First up, we have a little shirt. This was originally from Shein, which makes it a weird thing to buy secondhand, but I don't know. I thought it was really cute, and it set me back something in the $5 to $10 range, and I said, add to cart. I am excited to see what it looks like on. This is, I think, the initial thing that I decided that, like, I had to own and therefore I had to make this order in the first place. This was, like, the one that I saw and I was like, yep, I'm ordering stuff from ThreadUp. And it's these, like, super high-waisted, suspendery, trousery guys. They're not the material I was expecting. They're really soft. They're almost like, um, sweatpants or pajamas material. Uh, as you can see, I am not a clothing expert. I, if I were good at clothing, I might know what that was called. Anyway, um, I saw these. I was like, that's probably gonna look mad cute on me. That's gonna make me look how I want to look. And I want to own them. We'll see if I was right about that. This is a little waistcoat, which I know I'm going to like. Does it have a button? Interesting. Okay. Um... I might want to install a button on this, because as it stands, it does not close, which is peculiar, and uh, not what I wanted it to do for the, the silhouette of the thing. But it looks like that. It's so cute and quirky, and I wanted it. The end. This is something I kind of tacked on at the very end. I was like, uh, while I'm here, while I'm already placing an order, what do I need? What do I not have? And it's comfy trousers. I have a pair of comfy trousers. They're my emotional support comfy trousers. They are from the little boys section at Old Navy and I just, I needed different ones. I was not expecting these to also be comfy trousers. But yeah, these are like stretch waist. They looked comfy. Uh, they looked extremely wearable with, with many different outfits and I just like I needed trousers that do that. They're also quite lightweight, which is going to be good in the summertime when I, like, don't want to be wearing, uh, shorts or skirts. Yeah. I'm excited to wear these. These were originally from Banana Republic. And then this is the thing that I was, like, mega, mega excited to find. I was, uh, I was hanging out on 
Pinterest searching terms such as cottagecore butch and I saw jackets and coats that looked like this and I don't know I love like a coat that has sort of elbow patches I don't know why I find that looks so charming but I do and I've never owned a coat that had those um this was definitely the most expensive thing in the order uh it's soft surroundings I don't remember if that's the actual name of the brand slash designer if that's like some kind of sub label I don't I don't know I don't know how any of this stuff works anyway let's try them all on <laughs> How do style YouTubers get their entire bodies in the shot? Like, what angle am I supposed to be hitting here? I just wanted to do conspicuous consumption like the cool kids of my youth. Is that so much to ask? Yeah, you can see my whole self. Maybe that's the theme of this video. Uh, I'm gonna grab a nice basic shirt out of out of there. <laughs> this is going so well. I'm gonna deal with my uh, evidence of decluttering and also my American Girl doll. Shirt, a basic shirt. Sorry, Kaya. Oh no! Aha! This is what I want. My nice little flowy this was also thrifted nice little flowy j crew shirt blouse guy size zero my god i do not understand clothing sizes aren't there like there's people who believe that they make them confusing on purpose right aren't there like a few different versions of a conspiracy theory about that yeah size zero <laughs> really Whatever. Um, let me try it with my new suspendery guys. These are leggings. These are acquired recently by my standards, which means two years ago. As you can see, I don't acquire clothing very often. But yes, they these were given to me by the mother of a child I was taking care of because they no longer fit her. I call them treggings. They're like jeggings, but they're trousers. And I like them. Hmm. I feel like I underestimated the complexity of this garment. How do I get into this thing? Uh, hmm. Yeah, that looks how I expected it would. Looks how I wanted it to look. Okay, so one, I think I might prefer these with a real belt as opposed to the sash that they came with. I almost always feel that way about stuff that comes with a belt. I also think I might prefer this with like a t-shirt with something more casual. I'm gonna make those adjustments and I will be right with ya. Hello one belt that I like. So I was on my way to a party and I texted my friends and I said uh do you think I can find some kind of awl to make additional holes in this belt? in the 10 minutes before the uber gets here and they were like i don't know turns out the answer is yes uh one thing about me is i have brothers so a lot of the belts that i own are men's belts that are too big for me but too small for my brother hmm t-shirt oh they're so comfortable this is really nice Oh, do I want a t-shirt or do I want a weird little Jimi Hendrix tank top? I want a t-shirt. I feel like the fact that I can mostly tuck in a shirt without undoing the buttons speaks to the fact that these trousers are looser and less structured than I was hoping. I like that they're soft, but I don't like the lack of, yeah, structure. I like to feel a little corseted in my clothes. Not in the sense that it's squeezing, but in the sense that it's like, I don't know, sort of holding me up. Oh yeah. I look fantastic.
really I'm here to find clothes that make me look like how I look in my head and this is doing that so 10 out of 10. I'm never taking this jacket off. This is the hottest I've ever been. I know it doesn't it does not go with the trousers. I am aware. I'm gonna fix this. I I just could I can't I had to try it on. I couldn't resist. I have no self-control. This is the hottest I have ever been. And it's so comfortable and it fits so well. I might have just become dangerous. I think this jacket has given me powers that I should not have. The comfy trousers. I have a horrible feeling that these are going to be too big in the waist. Let's find out. But anyway, it'll be nice to have some more neutral basics because Lord knows I cannot make myself acquire neutral basics. It just doesn't feel worth it enough. I say that as if I'm good at acquiring any other type of clothing either, but plaid on plaid does happen to me kind of a lot because, like, why would I spend money on something that's not plaid? Anyway, I hope these trousers fit. Damn. It's just a little loose. Again, I don't understand clothing sizes trouble with these is they've got such an elastic waist that I don't know where I would take them in. Oh well. So yeah, so when I hold them, I hold them at the back, they look fantastic and I love the way that they fit. So I think trying to take them in, probably a worthwhile venture. Oh well. Oh well. I'm gonna put the jacket back on. I'm unstoppable. everything about apart from the fact that apart from you know this i love everything about this these are worth taking in i will figure that out i'm gonna go back to the treggings those are nicely neutral no eh, maybe not maybe i'll go back to some jeans i'll figure it out i'll be right with you it's my trusty jeans I said I know I'm gonna like this. <sighs> Unfortunately, he requires modification also. Mainly because one, he doesn't close, and he's too loose. Like, I'm always looking for a structured garment, and this is not one. It's not difficult to install a button, and I think I can probably fix the size thing with um, just tightening this knob. Let's see. Is that better? Oh yeah, heaps. Heaps better. It yeah, sits weirdly at the back now. I don't know. I can, I can workshop this. And now if I leave it open, okay, fine. Fine. I do like how it looks open. There's a lot of clothing that's meant to be worn open that I do not wear open because that's just not, I'm just not relaxed enough for that. I'm not relaxed enough to have a button and not button it. Um, but okay, fine. It does fit nicely when it is open. Let's try the funky little shirt. Come on, funky little Shein shirt. Yeah, yeah, I was right. I was right about this shirt. You could tie it, you could tuck it in. What I am going to do right now is tuck it in. Again, I can't not button a button and I can't not tuck in a shirt. I'm all about structure in clothing. And yes, I was right about this shirt. I bet I'll be even more right about it when it's got a belt on. 
I feel like you're supposed to always insert belts into belt loops in the same direction. Um, for me it is basically random. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's on one side, sometimes it's on another side. There's just... I don't have a lot of agency over that. I feel cute. I like this. I like this a lot. If I were going out right now, I would just keep this outfit on. And, okay, now, the best jacket in the entire world. <sighs> I bought cool. I went on the internet and I purchased coolness for myself with US dollars. I didn't know they just let you do that. Haha, -ha. that's, that's very silly. That's very goofy silly of uh of everyone in summary turns out i am not a small at the banana republic factory store turns out i would be an extra small uh turns out this extra small jacket fits like a freaking glove or like a jacket or something um these rock, big fan. They don't work with the clothes that I thought they worked with, but if you casual them up, they look fantastic. This needs work, but it is very cute and I'm glad I own it. This is the best thing I have ever purchased with money. Um, and this looks exactly as good as I expected it to. And uh, that's my review of the items I acquired. Thank you for coming to my YouTube video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, although uh, I usually talk about paleontology. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you want more clothing videos, uh, we'll see. I may have sent you barking up the wrong tree. Okay, bye.